We're here. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Missouri Star Live. I am Misty, joined by the fabulous Jenny Doan. Hi, everybody. And we are so glad you are with us on this beautiful Tuesday. Nice. And Jake is here in the back answering questions. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Feedback. Can you hear me now? You got us? Loud and clear. Hey, a little nod of the head would be good. He's, he's good. He's good? I can't hear me. Oh, we no. can't hear him. But that's because you don't have a microphone on. He's well, today we've got it. something really special to talk about. Yes. So Misty did say it was a fabulous day. However, it's not as fabulous as it has been. That's true. It's a little more cool today. Yeah. Hence the sweater. The sweater and long sleeves. And the long sleeve. Yeah. It's actually, what, about 64, I think. Yeah. I'm not mad. I'm No. No. I'm never mad. I don't care what the weather is. I love it. It's, it's true. I want to be happy right there. It's true. It's, it's you know, it's good. It's good weather. Come, come see us. But we wanted to just talk about what we have going on in town. Um, there's so many of you who haven't been to visit us here in Hamilton, and it really is an amazing experience. It really is fun. And Wait, so, can you hear me now? Uh, can I hear you? We, I can hear you. We've got we're, you loud and clear. We're like across across the room from you. Can Jake. you guys hear Jake? Somebody give him. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. He's, oh, there we go. There he is. All right, I'm back. Woo. There he is. All Not right. that we wanted him in the first place. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <Me too>. Oh, jeez. <laughs> From your own mother. <laughs> no, I always want him. Jake's, Jake's, a, Jake's a good son. That's awesome. Okay, so we just want to talk about all the things that are here. So let's Wait, start Wait, did you already with... do call-outs? I was, I was like no, struggling. No, I didn't because my app isn't working. She deleted Facebook. Yeah. All right, Mary's got me. I'm on here now. We got Alabama. We got Canada. We got East Tennessee. Awesome. East Brazil, Tennessee. Brazil, Florida. Yeah. Awesome. Spencer, Lots of Indiana. People. We love it. So and good. Green Bay. Green, Green Bay. Green Bay. I actually showed up in Green Bay with a giant chunk of cheese on my head. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Green Bay was a lot of fun. No, it we was had a, a lot great of fun. time there. That's so good. We did have a great time. Well, let's talk a little bit about our shops here. Okay. In Hamilton. So there's 12 of them, right? Yeah. So at least. It, yeah, right now there's 12. <laughs> so so they're all uniquely themed around different types of fabric. So which one's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? No. no they're all mm -hmm. beautiful, aren't they? No, uh, I don't have a favorite. And I find that, um, you know, I, I just love all kinds of fabric. Me too. And so I'm a, I'm a fabric, what do they call those? Uh, I'm on an acquisition. I'm a fabric, what do they call it? Curator. I'm a curator. A curator of fabric. A beautiful oh, a hoarder. Fabric. I think they call it a hoarder. <laughs> a hoarder. <laughs> A little bit. I mean, it does, you're not a hoarder if you're making quilts with it, right? That's right. If it just sits there too long. Yeah. So I actually had some that sat too long. Well, I had actually, let me let me back up a little bit. I had a lot of fabric because I was a costumer and it wasn't yeah. actually quilting fabric. And I had a lot of bags of quilting fabric that were tiny scraps that I saved because I was appliqueing. And we got a clarification. It's a fabriholic. A That's fabriholic. It. Fabriholic. That's it. Yes. <laughs> That's um, the one. Anyway, I went through all my fabric and I decided that all those little scraps I could get rid of that my, and I thought I'm going to give these to the guild so they can make beautiful quilts out of them. And then I had so many bags. Like, oh no. <laughs> like I had, I probably had a dozen bags of, you know, and it was like a lot of it was yardage for costuming and things like that. And I thought I'm just never going to use this. You know, you can't dress up a guy that's six foot five. He won't stand still for it, you know. <laughs> but uh, so so I I actually was too embarrassed to take them to the giveaway. Oh, my gosh. So I had my husband take them to the giveaway church at night. Oh, <laughs> just leave them. I just leave Someone them. Someone was so happy to find your scraps. I know. I, that's what I, I've, always, I've always hoped that. Well, I hope so, too. But I was just like, it was like, you know, when you have that much stuff that, like, really you don't need, that was... <laughs> I was a little embarrassed about that. That's so funny. Laura was saying she's a fabric rescuer. Yes. Oh, nice. I like that, <laughs> too. Saving it. it just needs a good home. It does. That's right. It does. So we have 12 different amazing shops from batiks to uh, floral to uh, kids and baby and novelty. Now, and my fun part about the shops, because we started the shops. Yes. That, that, was a, that wasn't originally a plan. It was because we got we ran too out much of fabric. <laughs> yes. We ran out of room and we wanted to be able to put all of our fabric out. And so we decided to take all the Civil War mm -hmm. and open a shop. Now, my fun part about that, and I love Civil War fabric, but for me, the fun was in decorating every store yes. for 
the type of fabric it represented. And so usually if you have Civil War fabric, it takes up a couple of shelves in this corner of this shop. Ours has a whole shop for it. So the kids were hilarious because that was our first shop. They were When they were getting ready to decorate it, they literally came into my house and they're like, we need that red Hoosier <laughs> and we need that cabinet. And we, you know, they went through it like half my house is in the, is in the um, Civil War shop, but it's just so darling. It's so you cute, know, it's it so really fun. is. So we have Civil it. War and floral, and all the florals are in there. And in the Civil War, it's not just actually, it's a reproduction shop. So right, it's so not there's actually, 30s. And yeah, it's not actually all just Civil War, it's 30s and all those, you know. So Deborah says sometimes she buys fabric and she loves it so much she just can't cut it up. That's actually, that's, that's yeah. a real thing. Yeah. That is a real thing. And certain kinds of fabric. Do you have any advice? Uh, it, my advice is don't let it wait until it's, um, falling apart. Yeah. Use it before then. You know, or if you really love it and don't want to cut it, put it on the back. You can use it as the backing and yeah. then it's just as beautiful. You can use both sides. Yeah. So, so. my husband actually um, taught me a good lesson in that. We lived in California. We grew up or we were born there, grew up there, raised our family there for most of their lives. Um, and then, or for their little lives, they, we moved here when they, the boys were like eight, nine and 10. But um, there were a lot of earthquakes mm -hmm. and I had a wonderful collection of blue and white dishes. And we moved into this house and it had this plate rack all the way around and I said to Ron, should I put them up? I mean, what if we have an earthquake? He said, if we have an earthquake, then at least you got to enjoy them mm -hmm. while they were out. He says, it, you don't enjoy them in a box. It's true. So, you know, if you have that perfect piece of fabric, you're not loving it in, in the bin. It's true. You know, so find a way. Love find it. A way. Yeah. Love it. Use it. Yeah. It wants to be used. It does. And it doesn't want to rot in the garage in a bin. No, absolutely not. No matter how pretty it is. That's right. All right. And then we also have Man's Land, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. So Man's Land. I don't think we've been through all the stores yet. We, oh, that's true. We haven't. So we have floral. Okay. Right. Civil War floral. <laughs> Batiks. We have our main shop. Now, main, now yeah. let me explain the main shop a little bit because I actually fought Alan a little bit on this. Uh, and he had this idea of what he wanted to do with this main shop. And I... I, I was just against it and he said to me at one point, mom, you're trying to make this into the same quilt shop you've been going to all your life. I want to do something different and I want you to give me a chance. Yeah. When your kid says that to you, you're like, you know what, I should give him a chance. He said, if it doesn't work, <laughs> we'll change it, but give me a chance. So what he did, I think is so cool because it really, to me, it really honors quilters. Yeah, I agree. Um, so they come to the main shop, we have our merch there. They have a little vignette of every shop that's in town is in is in the main shop. Yep. So there's a little place where you see boutiques and a little place where you see the Civil War and a little place where you see the Christmas and that sort of thing. And, um, and then you can get a pass where you can just um, shop by barcode, yes. you know, so then you get all of your quilters cash points and all those, every time you shop, it's like shopping online, you know, so you get all those points, all those perks, whatever they yeah. are, you know, whatever they happen to be at the time, all that goes on to your account. So, so that makes it really cool. There's a little place in the back where they do demos and things like that. And so it's just a cool idea for a shop. Then you're going to cross the street uh, and then you're going to have, you have stores all the way on the bottom and all the way on the top. So the bottom stores are, and I'm going to have, I hope you can get this right. The first one is primitives. Yes. Primitives and, and then we have, um, boutique. Yep. And then we have, uh, and the boutique. So, so Sarah did a lot of the shops. She designed a lot of them. And the fun part for me is like the cement floor on it's these blue. old. So on these old buildings, when we get when you get into them to redo them, because we really, um, all our lives, we never could afford a new house, but we could fix a house. And so my kid, my kids weren't afraid of these buildings that were built in the 1800s. And so they'd get in and they'd take it off and they'd be like, oh, there's not actually a floor a joist <laughs> or footings in here. So they poured the footings, they made the floor joist. And the thing that's cool about that is these buildings will now last another hundred years. Yeah. But uh, when she did the, like when she did the boutique store, like the cement was dyed actually with the blue dye yeah. so that it looks like water, like you're there. And it's it has, so pretty. like the counter has like kind of a sand and shell thing going on. And she did tiles on outsides of the buildings, um, you know, and it's blue and white on the outside of that one. I mean, she just had a lot of fun decorating each one. So let's see. So let's go back. So we got primitives and wool. We've got um, batiks, and then we are at Man's Land. 
Yes. Now, Man's Land, um, less than if you think that if you're a woman, you can't be in there. That is not the case. We named it Man's Land because there used to be a store in town, actually our main store, that was called Man's Land, and it was a men's clothing shop. Yeah, a department store. And, uh, and then there was a barber shop in the back, which is incredible marketing for the day. Yes. You know, you'd come in, you'd get a haircut, and on the way out, you'd feel so good about yourself, you'd buy an outfit. That's you know? right. <laughs> so anyway, we, we called it Man's Land just to honor that shop. There's 12 recliners in there. There's a pool table, uh, some vending machines, a sit-down table, some Rest televisions, restrooms. And so it's great for anybody who's traveling with you that just needs a break. Um, it's great for the bus drivers love it, you yes. know. They'll, they'll pull a quilt off the shelf and cover up and just kick um, back and relax. Yeah, they're in there sawing logs, you know. And, <laughs> and uh, so they, that's a really fun store. And then there's, um, next to that is Novelty, is that right? Uh, machine Shed. Oh, the Machine Shed. And the Machine Shed, I love the front window. Uh, it's got all sewing machines from, you know, all eras. Yes. <laughs> Lots of different sewing machines in that front window. But inside are our machines and our notions. All the notions. That's a store that we probably need to expand out, I know. to be honest. Yes. I think we need to separate those two, and um, but that'll be another store. That's right. We actually have more ideas for the buildings than we have buildings. Yes, <laughs> lots so, of ideas. Uh, lots of ideas. So then after the machine shed is, is novelty. novelty. And novelty is all the fun prints, everything from so bananas cute. to pirates to movie themes, and, you yep, know, Harry Potter, sports, all, everything. All your things like Next that. Next to there is the Penny uh, quilt shop. And some people actually, they, they're not sure, you know, because it doesn't say Missouri Star Penny, it just says Penny, Penny's Quilt Shop. Uh, we named it that because um, J.C. Penny was born here. And that was actually his 500th store. Yes. And so uh, I also heard it's the only one that he actually he owned. owned. Yes, yeah. it was the only one he owned personally was yeah. that store. And so uh, the Penny Company gave us some some old uh, the old signage for it that we have hanging in there. But it's really in cool. the Penny Shop is everything that's reorderable. So it's all your solids and your checks and your dots and your stripes and you know those kind of things that because most fabric lines they run their course and they go yeah, away all but, those blenders. but all the blenders you know you can reorder those and mm -hmm. so those are the things that are in there there's also a pretty hefty clearance area in there, there is a great clearance area and that's where all the cuddle and the fleece lives yeah I think well. that needs its own shop too. I agree I agree <laughs> I think it could be a soft shop and we could call it the padded room oh there you go <laughs> Just a little thought. I love it. New ideas every 20 seconds. I love it. So that's just the main floor. And so then we also have, upstairs. An, have an elevator and stairs. Um, so you go upstairs. So the elevator is in the machine shed. It is in the machine yeah, shed. Yeah, in the yes. machine shed. And so upstairs then is baby and kids. So mm -hmm. all those sweet little baby things. And I did, we had a question um, on here. One of the things was. Wait, um, we're not ready for questions yet. We have to go through all the stores. Let's wait, but I was just saying, they're asking about the stores. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll go back. We'll go back. We'll go back. And I'm saying we're making video, uh, videos. We are releasing videos as this month yes. goes through of all the stores and yes. all the shops. Videos so of all keep the keep looking stores. out for those. Yeah, yeah. So are those on those. our normal YouTube page? You can't stop your mother midstream. I'm telling you, I'm going to forget everything I was going to say. Oh, I have to fight. I have to fight. I'm, I have to I'm fight keeping for a mental This brain, notes. this brain, I can't remember it anymore. Um, okay, so we got kids and baby. We've got modern. So, yes. and, and the fun thing about the shops is like even the lamps reflect I, it's so the fun. modern uh, themes and the baby kids. They have these cute little look, nursery lamps. And, yes. Um, so then, so baby, modern backing a whole backing store do you know in our whole industry there's like only 300 backings it's like, not enough no it's not enough but we have lots of backings up yeah. there and that's when i say backing i mean fabric that is like 108 inches wide the and so wide it rarely requires also seam. this is really yeah. important joyce is back on youtube oh she's joyce. been on facebook Welcome for the last back. few back, months <laughs> And okay, she so says we should do that auction thing again. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it's rulers. a lot. We're working on it. We got, I, we got I'm actually really sad that you guys did that without me. I'm sorry. I wanted to be like, hey, everybody, get ready, everybody, 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 everybody. Just hold it, hold it. Hold it. I can't wait. <laughs> we have a lot of auctions here in the Midwest. They do that instead, like, of yard sales or estate sales. They'll do an auction. Yeah, that's true. It's really fun. It's awesome. Anyway, then... Um, so then next to the backing is our seasonal shop. Yes. So that's where we have our Halloween, our Christmas, our 4th of July. Anything that is seasonal is in there. Yeah. And of course, that's fun to decorate. And that actually could be separated out as well. Yeah. So, so we're actually working on a couple more buildings in town. We don't really know what's going in them yet. Well, we have. But, um, well, that's true. Sus so, so Susie wants to know where your shop is. We are My located shop? in Hamilton, Missouri. <laughs> We're about an hour north of Kansas City. An hour north of Kansas City. So if you fly and in, you're going to fly into Kansas City. 
And if you call for an Uber, it's probably my brother that's going to pick you up and bring you. <laughs> now, whatever stories he tells you, they're not true. I'm just saying. Right now. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's a funny guy. That's but awesome. the other thing is, is all the stores are online. So all, like when we talk yes. about the Civil War yes. shop, when we talk about the primitives, all, all that, that stuff, stuff is available online. Is available yeah, everything online. that's in the shops is online. <laughs> Absolutely. And so beyond the stores in town, we also have a retreat center. We do. It's which... Uh, sleeps 40 women sleeps 40 they do women. a retreat every week yep and they release about four months at a time so you just there's a uh, on our site there's a uh, event button and you can go there and you can see the events that are coming up that you can be a part absolutely. of absolutely and we also have a mini retreat so if you have like a mm -hmm. smaller group you can reach you can uh, reserve that mini retreat for your like I love group. to go with uh, just my girls you yeah. know like we just went and did some things and we have we have things that we plan a couple of times a year and uh, we just go and sew for a couple of days. And we have so much fun. That's when we get the most done. That's right. <laughs> the greatest. <It's> the best. <laughs> so Mary L. must have some inside information, but she just asked, has Jenny taken over the old library for her studio? <gasps> I she have. has. It's I have. beautiful. It's the, the loveliest creative space. It's so so I, I, we actually thought about using it as our for our little um, quilt library because we... All the quilts that I make, I make one every week for uh, a tutorial, and then one for um, uh, one for Block we magazine. We make it for Block, yeah. yeah. And then it gets also made as a pattern test. Yeah. So all those quilts, the shops. When you see a quilt in our shop, it's not because um, we have that fabric necessarily. It's because we have that tutorial. Right. And so the shops can check quilts in and out. And I wanted, I thought that would be a great library space, but there's too many windows in it. And because there's so many windows, I love it. It's I just gorgeous. love it. It's so, so Natalie funny. and I share that space and uh, it's a family space only. So we don't do tours and we don't have people come over and you can no longer come in and see my studio um, because we just found that it was, we were, you know, people want to see us all the time. And so we had to just like restrict it family only. It's a safe space. It's yeah. yeah. And it's just a place where I can go and create and I don't have to think about anything. And, uh, it's awesome. And just so you know, it's, it's messy. I'm a messy creator. <laughs> was there a big announcement? Did I miss? I was like kind of dialed in and we're trying to figure this video out on here. Oh, the, the, what? the education center is, is, this, right. Wait, has this already been announced or did you already say it? I, I mean, I kind of started to. Okay, give us the big announcement. So we drum roll, are, oh, drum we're roll. super excited to be opening an education space here in town. So it's going to open in June of this year and we're going to have instructors come and teach all kinds of classes pretty much weekly, I think, through the summers, through the busy season, there will be all kinds of classes. So that was one of the things, when people come to town, yes. they always say, can I take a class? Yes. Can I do something? And we were like, we have to add this part. And so I think it's like got, what, four classrooms in there? Is uh, there four I, or three? I don't remember. There's quite, there's several. Yeah. There's, there's multiple so, classrooms, yeah. Yeah, so there, we're gonna have classes going on all the time where you can come and just learn a skill, learn a little thing, take a little they class. Better. Yeah, all kinds yeah. of projects. It's, it's going to be so great. I'm really excited about it. And I think it, it just... Claudia says she needs a road trip. To yes, come. come take a road trip and visit us. It's so beautiful. Do you know, because we're in the center of the United States, now when you live in California, everything feels like you're traveling to Japan right. to, to come to the Midwest. But we're so centrally located yes. here, you know, that it, we're like, you know, 12 hours from here, you know, max. So it'd be like a two-day drive, you yeah. know. Uh, from the furthest yes. and so it's I just feel like we're real accessible to people. I, I agree and we're we're right off a little highway and it's mm -hmm. just it's not bad at all. So let's see what else did was I supposed to cover? Oh I was we were going to talk about a few of the upcoming retreats. Um, so we have Beginning Quilting for Adults uh, taught by Courtney Hughes who you've seen on our live show a couple times. She's awesome. Courtney's over a lot of our events and yeah. she just is amazing. She She's is amazing. Awesome. We just love her. And then we are doing a finishing school retreat. Now wait, I want to talk for a minute on the beginning quilting. Okay. Because when I do a trunk show, there will inevitably be maybe three or four or five women who will say, I'm not sure why I'm here. <laughs> My friends drug me along with them. And I bought fabric. I don't know what's happening to me. You yes. know, like they've never quilted. But somehow and so, I'm here. So we thought doing an, a, a beginning quilt class yeah. for adults is a great way. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, cause you want to come with your friend and maybe she doesn't quilt, but we can put her in the class. So yeah. CH is asking if there's RV parks near us. There are. There are RV parks near us. So we have one here in Hamilton. Yes. Well, we actually have a couple that? here in Am Hamilton. I just jumping jump the gun? A little bit. It's okay. <laughs> 
No, you're perfect. good. Perfect so time. We have, a, we have a couple of, uh, of RV parks right here in Hamilton. And then we actually have a state park, Wallace State Park, where yes. you can park RVs, which is just in Cameron, which is about 12 miles. Yeah. We have one in Chillicothe if you're coming the other direction. Um, and they're, Missouri parks are beautiful. Beautiful. They're beautiful. They're, they're very beautiful. well kept. They're, they're oh, really nice. and they're green and lush. Missouri's green. Yes, it is. So, yes, we do have uh, RV parking. Absolutely. And so then we have... Well, we have a site. Don't we have a site where they can go on... What's it called? VisitMSQC.com. Okay. So, VisitMSQC.com. And it will give you all the information like bed and breakfast. Yes. And then like our retreat center and uh, where you can park your and RV. And our customer service is really great, too. If you have any questions that you don't feel like are answered from the website, you can always reach out to them and they will help you as well yeah absolutely so, they're really Colleen great is finally catching us live yay welcome good welcome, to have you welcome 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 all right let's see so we we have the beginning quilting beginning quilting we have finishing school coming up so if you have a bunch of unfinished projects you can bring those and wrap them all up at uh, the finishing school retreat and, and basically that really is for your ufos yeah you, so you can bring your stuff to finish but we'll have people there giving tips on binding and mm -hmm. you know all those different things that you need to finish so absolutely. also holly wants to know if you have to have a group to come to the retreat or absolutely if you can come not solo. you can come come solo so the, re the retreats because they're sold by the bed we have women from all over the world at yes, those retreats it's so and, fun. and seriously we do have several groups now that book they book the same they book know, together they didn't know each other when they came but they got to be good friends there and now they book a retreat for the next year yeah so they can meet back up and yeah. so it's a great way to make new quilty friends or oh, bring gosh, friends yeah. that you already have but you absolutely can come by yourself it's so much fun how far from maryville are we Oh, oh, from Maryville? About an hour, maybe? About an hour from Maryville. An hour. Yeah. An hour. Easy. There's Easy There's college trip. over there. Yeah. Okay, so then we also have Christmas in July coming up. That will be super fun. We have a retreat, and we'll have some things in town around Christmas in July. We have got some awesome things planned for Christmas yes. in July. Yes, it's going to be so if great. If you love presents. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the last retreat I want to talk about is we have a featherweight retreat. So if you have a featherweight sewing machine you can join our so this is really retreat. cool the featherweight uh, people it's a, like a national group yeah. and they will come and direct the retreat and they show you how to how to clean it how to take care of it how i mean they all every, it's everything featherweight and those actually sell out very fast. i know i'm actually going to yeah. try and go at least pop into that one because i have a featherweight and i need to have them look at it yeah so well, they'll teach you how to I, look at Well, it. they'll teach me how to yeah. look at it. That's what I meant. There you go. Rondo's wondering if we have a golf course. And I know this. Oh, I know we do. This. Yes, we, we do. We have a golf course. We have a Hamilton golf course. It's actually a nine-hole golf course. But if you play it twice, it's 18 That's holes. That's right. And it's Just a great little around. course. <laughs> it is a pretty good little golf course. Yeah. My husband loves it. Uh, uh, he's not a golfer. Do they still wait? Do they still have that deal going on, like with uh, with Missouri Starks? If you used to get a deal if you told them you're here visiting. Oh, I think so. I think so. Yes. I'm not 100 percent sure about that. But Ooh. I think so. And we also, uh, we have word from the peanut gallery back here that we have some passes too. So if you, <gasps> if you ask around when you come visit, <laughs> that's a good way to do that. Um, besides that, let's talk a little bit about events. How about that? So, uh, we have lots of events coming. Yeah, so Missouri Star Academy is the soonest one. Mm -hmm. it's, and, and I think the first session is sold out. There may still be some tickets for the second there session. There is, May 23rd and 24th. And the cool thing is that this year, the international market that's for shops only is happening in Kansas City. Yes. So uh, lots of the designers are going to be there, and they in turn are going to come to our uh, Missouri Star Academy. And they'll tell about their lines and they'll do some trunk shows. And I mean, it's just like two days of all these little classes where you get to meet and, you know, rub elbows with your favorite designers. It's and so fun. It's a lot of fun. So that's coming up in in May. In so, May. so the the first session, like you said, is sold out. And then we have tickets still for May 23rd and 24th. Yeah. Those days. So. And then what's next? Um, after MSA. Oh, actually, there's a couple more things we're doing. We've added to MSA this year. In addition to the regular schedule, we have some standalone classes with Sue Daly yeah. and Karen Miller. So those are available. And then also Anne Hazelwood will be here to appraise antique quilts. So oh. you can come and have So Anne quilt. Hazelwood is also an author. An author. And she right. writes these quilt books that, that I just love. And the newest one just came out. So I'm kind of, Excited. I'm kind of anxious oh, to, that's to awesome. see that. But um, yeah, the last one I was like, 
wait, you can't end here. You can't end here. It's like, and then suddenly, you know, and, and so, you know, but she's like, waiting for the next I book. We got to have the next book. That's so, so fun. She does a great job writing. And she's actually a local Missouri girl. Is she really? She I didn't is, know yeah, that. over St. Louis Way. And she comes over and um, she's just absolutely darling. And she comes over and she'll sign your books. Yeah, and, she's yeah, really that's a sweet. Lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are interested in any of the MSA stuff or any of the stuff we've talked about, I just want to pop in and remind you we have a link in the profile. So you can click right there and it'll take you to everything you need to know and i'm pretty sure somebody's asking about streaming during M msa we are going to have some streaming right yeah we're still working on all, we're still working we're still on, working on all the yeah because the schedule's all crazy but but we will yeah, definitely for sure share we will, with you we will put some stuff up well considering jake has to be five places and there's only one of him you know <laughs> we're working on that too we're working on that <laughs> we're cloning i'm, I'm no, exercising <laughs> now for then yeah so then uh also jenny on the road jenny on the road so we have four this year yes um, we have Pennsylvania. Mary, help me with these because Michigan. we have Pennsylvania, Michigan, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, and Idaho. Idaho. Idaho just went live today. Yeah. It's up in Coeur d'Alene. So. Um, so that's another big announcement. So, so tickets for <laughs> that, yeah, that's, Idaho. Yeah. That's a big announcement today. So here, yeah. let me tell them the dates. So, uh, Lancan Lancaster, Pennsylvania, is July seventh and eighth. Those tickets are available. Now, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, so just think about all the Amish and all I that, know. and they're going to actually feed us dinner there. So. I'm actually really excited about that. Meal. A whole bunch of my, like, family history is Ooh. from there. There's a few yes. people here that are saying they're already coming to the oh, Pennsylvania good. show, oh, so that's awesome. fun. So let me just tell you a little bit about Jenny on the Road. Wait, where in Michigan, they about. said? Susie's what? like, OMG. Uh, I think it's up. Ipsilanti. 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 The and metropolis. Be August 16th and 17th in Michigan. But, in August? Yeah. yeah. So Jenny on the Road is uh, it's a it's a separate trunk show from the trunk shows that um, you see normally. It's bigger. It's on steroids. We bring you a um, we bring you a pop up shop. There's about tw uh, half a dozen or a dozen employees. That it depends. Come. Yeah, how, and, how many uh, we have. And um, and they you know they're there with the pop up shop and to assist and to do things. Um, it's just so much. It's fun. our favorite thing. We it love is. it. It's so a lot much. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you, you will, uh, we're just nuts. We're just a crazy family. So <laughs> we have a good time. We do goofy things and you, ha you all have a all good right, time. All right, they want to know we're in Oklahoma now, too. Uh, Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Bartlesville, which isn't too far from the Pioneer Woman. That's right. And, so, and that's uh, not too far from Bartledo. <laughs> Bartledo? No one knows what that means. What does that mean? Jeff that's a silly thing, YouTube video. <laughs> isn't it? The, oh, six, no. All right, so that's October 18th and Bartlesville, 19th. Bartlesville, October 18th and 19th. In Bartlesville, Oklahoma. And tickets for that one will be coming soon. Both that one and Michigan, they're not quite up yet, I don't believe. Right. Correct. Okay, awesome. And then the last show of the year is November 15th and 16th in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. Those tickets are available. And those, this yeah, those tickets yeah. just went up this morning, so get them while you can. They're Brand new. That's awesome. And that's beautiful country up there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's near uh, Spokane, right? Is that right? Yes. Uh, okay. I was going to say, uh, my I'm geography. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. It's like way over there. They, they just hand me a paper and I go to that place. <laughs> I put that address in my map quest and off I go. I love it. So that's awesome. Um, beyond that, we have Birthday Bash in September. Yeah, so, so also on the Jenny on the Road stuff, um, we're, we're picking like four or five different places yeah regions of the country a year so if we're not if you know if, if it's not close enough to you uh this year it could be next year Absolutely. so just you know if you have a chance to see one really do go see one because yeah. they are a lot of fun okay They're wait so, so we fun. got a question i think it's legitimate the msa ticket is that for two days it's for two for, days it's for two days so one ticket is for both the it's days for everything. absolutely and right. and, awesome. and it includes my trunk show you know yeah, Sue Daly's trunk show includes includes you know. Yeah, so there's all some the classes, confusion on that, but I hope days. that yeah. clears that up. Awesome, that's a good good call out. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, another new exciting thing, starting this spring, we are going to be offering town tours by appointment, so people oh. can come and get a behind the scenes tour and learn about the town. So I think that's wow. pretty fun. Yeah. Who's doing that? I don't know, but it's on my paper. <laughs> it's on your paper. <laughs> and so it must be a thing. Does it include the warehouse at all? I am not sure. That'd be really cool if it could include It would the be warehouse. really cool. Yeah. I'm not sure if it does or not, but we will try and find out about that. But we also have uh, Jake and Michael put together a little video of the town. Oh, yeah. And so I think we're going to show that. The, Let's do it. This world, world premiere. premiere right here. Uh, uh, Should we walk down the red carpet, Mr. Oh, Tom? yes. This, here we, here we go. This is, it. This is, what you've, this is the moment video. you've all been waiting for. <laughs> the town video. 
When our family moved to Missouri about 25 years ago, we never imagined that someday we'd be running a successful business here. The Missouri Star Quilt Company story begins in Hamilton, a town of about 1,800 people, just a quick 60-minute drive north of Kansas City. Like many small towns in America at that time, employment was scarce, so in November of 2008 on a shoestring budget, we bought a building in Hamilton and started the Missouri Star Quilt Company. At first, we offered machine quilting services and basic quilting supplies, but business picked up when we started posting free videos teaching simplified quilting techniques. It wasn't long before Missouri Star became the biggest quilting channel on YouTube. As Business Online grew, so did the experience we built for the town. We now offer 12 unique quilt shops. Each one is themed around a different type of fabric. Stop first in our main shop where you can register for a shopping pass and see vignettes of each of the shops in town to help you decide where you want to go first. From the floral shop where you'll find all your flowery favorites, to the mercantile where you'll find reproductions of Civil War and 30s fabric, to the penny shop named after J.C. Penny, who also called Hamilton home, where you can find all of your solids, blenders, and cuddle fabrics. There is truly something for everyone. We are now proud to offer the largest selection of pre-cut fabrics in the world and ship thousands of packages to customers across the globe every day. All thanks to simple sewing tutorials on YouTube. Hamilton has become a tourist destination, attracting quilters from near and far. What started out as a family business has grown to include an entire community that we love sharing with you. We hope you'll come visit us soon. So what do you guys think? Yeah. Did you love it? Ooh. I love that. Did you love it? That's boys it, out there playing with a drone right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a standing ovation. I see a yeah. couple of Clapping hands. Lots of clapping hands. I love that. So we would love to have you come visit us. Um, Marsha's like, I want to leave work now and just drive down. <laughs> yes. There you go. Just do it. We fully support that idea, Marsha. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't quit your job. <laughs> Don't quit. I mean, Okay, yes, wait. we do yeah. support. We do have a few more things we want to talk about. Yeah, for about. sure. So if you if you decide to come and see us, which we would love to have you, there's plenty of places to stay. Like we said, we do have some RV parks. There's also some great uh, B&Bs and hotels nearby. You can find lots of information on that. Visit msqc.com. Mm -hmm. So make sure you check that out. Um, we're also really close to a, a couple other places that might be really fun for you to visit. Jamesport has uh, a large Amish community. Oh, that's fun. It's yeah. really fun. It's not very far away. And then Marceline um, is the boy had home of Walt Disney. Actually, one of the fun things is we live on Highway 36, yeah. which is called the Highway of Geniuses, yes. because uh, Walt Disney you was know. born there. You know why. And J.C. Penney was born there. General Pershing was born there. Mark Twain was born there. Pony Express is yes. on the other end. Uh, and, and uh, you know, so it's it, it's just a, it's all kinds of stuff to see on there that's really fun. Absolutely. We do have a J.C. Penney Museum here in town. Yep. We do. With um, all kinds of artifacts and stuff like that from their early years and beginning life. We have the little home, his little, uh, the little JCPenney home is on our little square out here. Yeah. Uh, so that's awesome. fun to see. It's so good. What else do we have? And so then we wanted to talk about if you're bringing people who are not quilters or your husbands along with you, um, there's plenty of for them to do. So we mentioned the golf course. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a reservoir where you could fish. Yes, it says you can rent a golf cart, but you'll need to bring your own clubs. And so as on the fishing, uh, our local library actually offers, you can rent a fishing pole and they'll set you up with a one day fishing license. I so you, you get that, that from where? The library? The library, our local that's library cool. right that's here good, in Hamilton. That's good information. Uh, Insider really tip. Yeah. yeah. And Insider so then, tip. Exactly. So we mentioned the... And the golf course is, the reservoir is right next, they're, right, they're, they're, they're one road where you go to both of them. So yeah. uh, somebody can fish and somebody can golf. And yep. And so we talked about the JC... Uh, Penny Museum, which is um, open uh, for tours by appointment, so you can set up an appointment to do that. And then also we have a little local microbrewery for people who are interested yeah, in Yeah, they that. came up from Kansas City and opened a little brewery yeah. up here, and people just love it. You know, they have craft, uh, yeah. craft beers and things like that. Yeah. And it's just they want to know if there's a place to park an 18-wheeler. An 18-wheeler? On my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> We, dad's dad's uh yeah, dad's little a, shop yeah. there is a we do my husband has a little garage that's on main street as you come in and it's like got no signs or anything it's just like it was an old body shop yeah and we have big trucks park in there sometimes yeah, he true. might he might come talk to you but you could just say <laughs> yeah he, the he, live, say, Jenny said the on, live <laughs> on april that i could park here and, with and, he Miller. and ron would just say all right yeah ron's <laughs> so always good. going he'd be like sure yeah whatever. it's so true 
And so we also want to make sure that, and mention a few of our other um, shopping and food opportunities here. We have some great little shops. Uh, Twigs Rust and Dust is right here. She has some fun little handmade things. So she's, she's such a clever artist. She yeah. makes things out of uh, things other people would not even think. Yes, she's, she does. She just does great. She job repurposes on. things into mm -hmm. such fun, fun, amazing things. We have a uh, the farmers. What is it called? Farmhouse candles. Farmhouse candles, and, and they have all kinds of home deck and candles yes, and stuff like great that. Great gift items mm -hmm. in there. Cute bracelets. They have these little bracelets. I put them on my my page because they gave me. It was just so cute. Yes, yeah, so fun. Then also, we have Tammy's flowers. Tammy's flowers. High class. They high class is our local grocery store, but they also sell awesome wooden barn blocks that yeah. you can hang quilt on your blocks, wall. Big quilt blocks and a, and a guy makes those and brings them into yeah, the store. Yeah, an, an Amish guy, yeah. Right? yeah Absolutely. And it's, uh, high class. And then Tammy, she's not just fresh flowers. She does have beautiful flowers, but she also caters to the quilters with all kinds of like little ornaments and doodads yes. and all kind of quilty stuff. Very so cute things. She does lots of fun stuff. Then we stuff. have Let's Make Art, which is a watercolor company here in town mm -hmm. where you can get kits and uh, all kinds of great things there. And a plug and then, for them, they do do a live they do a paint live, along. Yeah. And yeah, it's actually tonight. They do a tonight. live paint along on Tuesday night. So it'll be tonight. Yeah, it's really and, fun. Uh, and it's something if you, if you, you know, if you ever get kind of stagnant in your creative, you know, one of the things they suggest is to create out of your element. Yeah. And so I actually started watercoloring um, because I wanted to like, you know, get, yeah. get that, some of that sojo back, you know, and, uh, and I love it. I, and it's not something, I never consider myself a drawer or anything like that, but Sarah makes it so easy. It's Sarah Cray who teaches it. She does and a great she, job. Oh my gosh. She's amazing. Right, we got to, we got to wrap this up. We're going we're over, almost done. we're going over our lunch we're break. We're almost done. Ah, and whatever. so then uh, also <laughs> there is uh, the North, Northwest Missouri Wine Company, formerly Junk and Disorderly. Okay. They're, they're here in town. And then we have Jay's Burger Die for uh, tasty burgers and fries. They're delicious. We have Hamilton Baking Company if you need a That's coffee or a soup salads, or sandwich. Cookies. Uh, Hank and Tank's Barbecue, mm -hmm. which they're only open Thursday through Saturday, but it is delicious. It's worth the wait. And we are, <laughs> yes, we are so glad when they're open. And then we are also have the Hangout they're turkey. by. They're turkey. They're, insider oh, tip. That's <laughs> they're, insider yes. tip. They're smoked Hank turkey. And so good. Smoked turkey. Absolutely. That's, so good. It's so good. And, and the their ribs. Are, ribs. The ribs their are ribs great. Their ribs are amazing. Yeah. Okay. And then. Uh, Opening next new month restaurant. is a new restaurant called The Hangout by Joe Jumps, and so that'll be here. Now, I just went up to, uh, they're actually up in Gallatin, and they're bringing another restaurant down here, and I actually recently ate at their place, and it was delicious. Oh, that's awesome. I'm like, excited to try it. Like, somebody got a tenderloin, like, the size as of As big your, as your face? Bigger, I Yeah. Think. <laughs> I mean, it was like, it's big amazing. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, the, yeah, the food was very, very good. Good, and that's awesome. So they're awesome. going to be opening up. That's where, the, where Blue Sage was. We're going to be opening The Hangout right there. That's awesome. Uh, and then, so I think we just have one last thing. We, uh, 2019 is a really big year in Hamilton. The Missouri State Quilt Museum will be opening in mm -hmm. September right here in Hamilton. So, so this is just down from high class. Yes. Uh, it was our old elementary school and a, and a family. If you've ever of, seen the world's largest spool world's of largest thread. Spool yes, of thread. it's right there with the world's largest spool of thread. And this uh, family, the Redford family, bought the school and they're turning it. They actually have it registered with the state. It's Missouri's first state quilt museum. It's so exciting. We're right so here. excited to have it oh here. Oh my gosh, yeah. And so it's so you awesome. You can go on and look at, they have a website too. What is their website? I think um, it's Missouri, it, Missouri Quilt Museum. Is it Hamilton Inn? No, no it's Missouri. they have a, a Yeah, they a have museum. a venue oh, okay. it's called the Hamilton, Hamilton Inn. Home in Hamilton. Home in Hamilton. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the Quilt Museum um, is, uh, um, I think it's just called Missouri State Quilt Museum. I think so too. Anyway, you can just search that and find it. But if you want to be part of the building, like you can buy a brick. Yeah, the boys true. make these awesome little Lego sewing machines that look like a treadle. They're so cute. And they're so cute. They they gave me one. They're just darling. They so are they're, adorable. They're doing a lot of cute little things to earn uh, help. You know, help support the museum. Absolutely, it's so cool. We hope you guys. Um, it's had what's a going look. on. Oh, the yeah. murals. We have beautiful yes, murals. Beautiful murals. All the trees are blooming. The red buds. The Bradford pears. The Absolutely. dogwoods. They're just glorious right now. It is. It's just gorgeous. And we would love to have you come and visit our town. And we hope you enjoyed we would. a little bit about it. Yeah. A little, little more behind the scenes. We're and bus friendly. So if you want to get a bus together and bring it, we have yeah, a they're... whole hotel that sleeps a whole bus. And the driver gets his own suite. Yeah. Is, there a place, right. is there a place to board a dog? There is a, we do have a, we, a veterinarian. I, should, I board my cat there. We should have, uh, can we, we, I don't think we have rentable carts for handicap when they get here, but that'd be kind of, that'd be a good idea. That would be that a good idea. That is a great idea. idea. Um, yeah, we love, we love all that feedback. Yeah, questions, awesome. questions. Yeah, there's a ton of questions coming in. Do the rapid fire. Yeah, we love that. I miss them. When is birthday bash? September. September, third week. 
Uh, What's the right size quilt for a picnic? September 26th through 28th is birthday bash. I would is say one layer wrong, cake. Is there a wrong size quilt for a picnic? That's No, no there's no, not. There's not. Uh, if it's too big for your basket. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, it actually depends how many children you're going to sit on there. You know, I needed big quilts for my yes. picnics. <laughs> what else? What All else? Right. There's a bunch... But they're they're gone. Oh, I'm they sorry. We, yep, we're good. Well, All right, we're at our forty guys minute so limit. Much. Have you guys a fabulous were awesome. week. Oh, we, thanks yeah. for joining us, you yeah. guys. We'll Such a great. Yep, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, guys.